No. What up? I'm Jordan. What up? Hello. <laughs> How do I start this? Hey guys, I am Joy from the Travel and Outdoor Lifestyle blog called A Jaunt with Joy. I'm going to talk to you guys today about some clothing that you can pack, mainly for the women, for an Arctic adventure. So if you've got an Arctic trip coming up, Alaska, Norway, anywhere like that, I've got you covered. Now, a trip to the Arctic is all about the layers. A trip to any cold weather destination, layers, layers, layers. You're going to want to pack five different kinds of layers. I know five seems like a lot, but you really do need these five layers in Arctic climates to stay absolutely warm. The first layer is, of course, your underwear layer. You can get really good wool underwear from a company called Icebreaker. They make both cute and functional wool underwear, sports bras, anything like that that you need. The second layer is your foundation layer or your base layers, if you will, your long johns, your thermals. You want something that's going to be wick away, moisture wicking, um, and also provide a little bit of insulation. Your third layer is your mid layer. This can be anything from a vest, a lightweight down jacket, a fleece pullover or zip up. Your fourth layer is your outer shell. It's really important for your outer shell to be both waterproof and windproof. More so windproof than waterproof. You can get a water resistant outer shell. Just because of my own experience, I was a seasonal wildlife biologist um, up in the Arctic of Alaska, up in Barrow, the farthest north you can get to in North America. I found that it was way more windy than it was wet. So your outer shell, you really do want to focus on finding something that's more windproof than waterproof. Having both though, would be great. And the fifth layer is anything for your extremities. So let's just get into what I got and what I used. Having wool underwear will keep you warm as well as comfortable and it will also be breathable and odor resistant. I have the Marmot Thermal Climb Pro, long sleeves on top and long pants on the bottom. My mid layer is a lightweight fleece zip up from REI. For my mid layer pants, I don't have any. Honestly, I'm actually wearing them right now. I wear this kind of stretchy black pants. They're not jeans, they're not quite jeggings. They're, they are what they are. For my outer shell upper half, I actually have a men's Marmot Highland down jacket. It's a small, it fits me pretty well. It is 700 fill down, which keeps me extra toasty. And it's water resistant, which is perfect has a hood. I admit quite a few of the pieces of clothing that I'm going to be showing you is now out of season, out of stock. You can't find it online or in stores anywhere. So any of those items of clothing, I will try to find dupes and link them down below so you have something to work with, something a little similar. And for my outer shell's lower layer, I have the Marmot Skyline insulated pants. They're kind of like snowboarding or ski pants. They have an adjustable waistband, but they're waterproof, and you also can't find them online anymore, so it doesn't matter. But Burton, the North Face, and I think a company called Flylo, I think that's their name, they make really good insulated snow pants. Now your fifth and final layer is going to be for your extremities. Let's go from the head down. So I'm already wearing a beanie. This one is not going to be so great for an Arctic trip. This is kind of more your everyday average beanie, lightweight, breathable. If you want to wear a beanie in the Arctic, you're going to at least want to make sure that it is wool. This one is a merino wool beanie from Icebreaker. They have a lot of great other hat options. But if you want a hat that's a little more practical for an arctic climate, you're going to want something that covers your ears. You can get a balaclava. For your neck, you're going to want a scarf or a neck gaiter that is made of fleece or wool. And to protect your fingers and your hands, gloves or mittens. Ow. Next on the list, wool socks. I like these ones because they're long and thick. But you want wool socks because again, it's going to be odor resistant and breathable and still wick away any moisture or sweat that you might have. And the final layer is my massive sorrel boots. These things are made for heavy snow and ice conditions. They have lots of great traction. They're waterproof, they're insulated. One more layer that could be really beneficial for you to pack is polarized sunglasses. So my two are from Nectar, they're a company that promotes the conservation and education of the U.S. honeybee. So anytime you buy Nectar sunglasses or Nectar products, a portion of those proceeds goes directly to the Save the Bees organization. So recently it's been released that the U.S. honeybee is now officially on the endangered species list. 
what happened with a degree in wildlife biology. I love supporting companies like this. So if you're looking for polarized sunglasses, they also have like the blue light protector, like monitor screen protecting glasses. They have regular eyeglasses. They have all kinds of things. If you're looking for any of that to pack for your trip or any trip, check Nectar out. I have a discount code down below. I think it's for 15% off. I could be wrong. I'll double check it. Also, sorry about the lighting. I don't have any of those fancy soft boxes or ring lights. I'm just using the natural light from my window. And the longer this video takes, the more the sun is going down. Apologies. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up. More travel and outdoor lifestyle content will be coming at you soon. Again, I'm Joy from A Jaunt With Joy, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, I am Joy from A Jaunt With Joy, the travel and outdoor lifestyle blog. That's it. The end. <laughs> Let's check it out. What is that? No. For my base layer, I have the Marmot. What is this called? My mid layer is a zip up fleece hooded. My mid layer is a. Z what is it? What is it? What is it? You can get a balaclava. I think I'm saying that right. I always want to say baklava. You can get a baklava to put on your head. A portion of those proceeds goes directly into the organization. Organization. Peace!